What if one day the earth is empty? There would be only one man left. Imagine a world, not in the distant future, but one that could be a reality after a global catastrophe. A world where humanity, in all its complexity, has vanished. All that remains is a single person isolated, alone, and facing the monumental task of rebuilding. But how could that happen? How could one human possibly repopulate Earth? The answer might not be as impossible as it seems. Technology, specifically robotics and genetic engineering, could hold the key to survival. In fact, robots, already advancing at an unprecedented pace, are becoming increasingly capable of performing tasks that would have been unimaginable just a few decades ago. From farming to resource management, to even healthcare, robots could potentially help rebuild Earth's systems, preserving vital resources, and providing the tools needed to sustain life. Take, for example, the use of autonomous robots in agriculture. In 2019, the world saw the emergence of the first autonomous farm workers' robots designed to plant, tend, and harvest crops with minimal human intervention. These machines, powered by artificial intelligence, could keep food production going, even in a world where human labor is no longer available. With proper programming and efficient maintenance, robots could ensure the survival of one human for an extended period. While robots could manage resources, the real challenge lies in reproduction. One person, alone, can't recreate humanity. But through advancements in genetic engineering, cloning, and artificial reproduction technologies, this might not be as far-fetched as it seems. Today, scientists are already experimenting with gene editing tools like CRISPR-Cas9, which allow for the modification of human genes. These technologies could theoretically be used to recreate a viable human population from genetic material stored in a laboratory. This concept isn't purely theoretical. In 2019, researchers successfully cloned a pair of genetically identical primatocin achievement that just a decade ago seemed impossible. If similar technology could be adapted for human cloning or genetic preservation, it could allow the last human to grow a new generation using DNA from stored genetic material or even from cells preserved prior to the catastrophe. It's not just about biology, it's also about maintaining the essential knowledge needed to rebuild. Robots could preserve the entire knowledge base of humanity. Think of an AI-powered library, constantly updating and expanding, storing everything from medical knowledge to engineering blueprints. In this scenario, Robots wouldn't just help with survival, they could act as teachers, guiding the new generations and ensuring that critical knowledge isn't lost. But this raises an important point, can technology truly replace the richness of human experience? Robots may be able to help with the basics of survival and reproduction, but they can't replicate the emotional complexity of human relationships. Would the next generation of humans grow up lacking the fundamental connections that make us who we are? Could they truly be called human if they are raised in a world without the complexity of family bonds, social interactions, and cultural traditions? Despite these concerns, scientists have proposed solutions. One potential solution lies in creating advanced AI systems that simulate human relationships and social structures. These AI systems could be integrated into the lives of the new generation, offering guidance and companionship in ways that closely mimic human relationships. While this doesn't replace true human interaction, it might provide the emotional support necessary for children raised in this new world. There are also solutions being developed to ensure that the future generations maintain genetic diversity. In a process known as gene banking, scientists are storing DNA samples from diverse human populations in secure facilities around the world. These samples could potentially be used in the future to prevent the harmful effects of inbreeding, offering a solution to the genetic bottleneck effect that could arise from only one person's genetic material being available. But let's imagine an even more complicated situation. If there's only one person left on Earth and he's a man, if only a man remains, the situation becomes even more complex when it comes to reproduction. Although technology can offer solutions, creating a new generation without female participation is a significant scientific challenge. Let's consider the possible scenarios. If the man has access to frozen egg banks collected before the catastrophe, artificial insemination could be used to create an embryo. However, if eggs are not available, another technology would be needed. As with women, cloning could be one of the solutions. Existing technologies, such as mammalian cloning, could be used to create offspring from the man. Cloning involves creating a copy of the man's genetic material 
which is then used to form an embryo. The man's genetic material, e.g. skin cells, could be used to create an embryo through cloning. This embryo could then be implanted into an artificial womb if no woman is available for gestation, or if a woman is available, she could be the carrier of the child. Recently, scientists have begun exploring the possibility of creating eggs from male cells. This method is not yet implemented in practice, but it could theoretically be possible in the future. Research has shown that male skin cells can be transformed into cells capable of becoming eggs. This process, known as genetic reprogramming, involves converting male cells into cells that can be fertilized by sperm and develop into an embryo. This would be a revolutionary discovery in the field of reproduction, as it would allow a man to produce offspring using his own genetic material. If there is a need to carry the child and no women are available, artificial wombs could be used, as mentioned earlier. This would be a logical extension of using new technologies to make the woman's participation unnecessary for gestation. Once the embryo is created, it could be implanted into an artificial womb, which would provide all the necessary conditions for fetal development. While artificial womb technology is not yet advanced enough to handle human gestation, experiments with mammals show that this is a possibility. This could become a crucial part of reproduction without female participation. Using technologies like CRISPR-Cas9, it's possible not only to edit existing genes, but also to create new genes or even synthetic DNA that would allow a man to initiate the creation of offspring. It's also possible to create synthetic eggs using synthetic biology. In this scenario, scientists could develop artificial eggs or use synthetic DNA to create viable embryos that could be used for reproduction. From a scientific perspective, if cloning and genetic modification technologies are sufficiently developed, it might be possible to create a woman using the man's DNA and synthetic biology. However, this is far from a standard approach and requires numerous experimental steps. This could involve cloning a human but with genetic modifications that would make the creation of female reproductive cells from male genetic material possible. Such a process would require a deep understanding of human reproduction and technologies capable of manipulating DNA at the cellular level. And while all of this may sound like something out of science fiction, it's not entirely outside the realm of possibility. We've already begun exploring the fundamental technologies that could make such a world possible. Robotics, artificial intelligence, and genetic engineering are advancing at a staggering pace. The foundations for this brave new world might already be under our noses. This scenario presents an opportunity for humanity to answer some of its most profound questions. Can we push the boundaries of technology far enough to not only survive but thrive? Even when the world around us has been forever changed. And if we succeed, what kind of future will we create? One driven solely by machines? Or one where humanity, with the help of technology, continues to evolve, adapt, and grow? While technologies could theoretically enable reproduction for a single person using artificial insemination, cloning, or genetic modification, the process would require significant scientific and ethical efforts. Reproduction without female participation would only be possible through new technologies still in the research phase. The journey ahead would not be easy, but the potential to repopulate Earth using the very technologies that once brought us to the brink of extinction offers a new hope. It's a journey not just of survival, but of rebirth, of discovering what it truly means to be human in a world reshaped by machines. If you found this video interesting and want to explore more about future technologies, ethical dilemmas, and the future of humanity, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Stay updated with my latest content. And don't forget to like and share this video with friends who love to dive deep into science, technology, and the unknown. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Would you want to live in a world where these possibilities become reality? Subscribe now and join me on this fascinating journey.